Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a Python program which will detect emotion on a human face. Now, as you can understand from the length of the video, we are not creating a machine learning model. Okay, we are not creating a model and then training it on our own. We are actually using a package. Let me uh, open that package. Okay, so we are using this package called DeepFace and uh, it not only offers the emotion detection, it offers multiple features that you can use that we'll talk in just a bit. First of all, let's talk about that what's behind this package. Okay, so this is actually a wrapper around these seven machine learning models that works on human faces. First is VGG face. This is the default model which this deep face package uses. Package uses. We'll talk about this when we write the program. Then we have Google FaceNet, OpenFace, Facebook DeepFace, DeepID, ArcFace, and DLib. Okay, so these are the seven machine learning models that uh, this wrapper works on. The installation part is pretty simple. You just have to go to the command prompt and uh, write pip install deep face okay you can copy it from here only open the command prompt and uh, simply write pip install deep face press enter and this package will be installed for you it's a big package okay so if you're having a slow internet it will take some time and even if you're having a fast internet it will take time because it will install multiple big packages so after you have installed this package now let me first discuss about what are the other functionalities that this package offers in case you want me to create a separate video on a specific feature of this wrapper you can comment down below okay so it offers feature like face recognition and face matching so what you can do is you can give a particular image to this package let's say that you give your image to this package and say that okay this is my photo and you have to find this face among a bunch of other faces okay now let me give you an example let's say that this is a folder okay and you have this image okay by the way, this is my photo <laughs> face reveal anyway. Uh, so let's say that this is my face and I provide this face to uh, this package and I'm having a new folder uh, where I have bunch of images. OK, multiple images, some having faces, some not having faces, some having faces of multiple persons. So what I'll ask this package to do is I'll ask this package to recognize this image and search it among these images okay so this is the first functionality that it can offer then you can specify that what machine learning model you want to use by default it uses the uh, vgg face one but if you want to use any other model you can specify we'll talk more about it while we are writing the program then we have the analyze class that we'll be using for this project it has four features okay it can detect the age, what is the age of that face, uh, then the gender, the race and the emotion. Okay, we are only considering this emotion feature for this video. You can replace it with age, gender and race if you want. Okay, uh, then we can also use the webcam stream. By the way, I won't be using this stream class for our project. I'll be using OpenCV to get the data from the webcam. Uh, then you can use face detector based on multiple machine learning models like uh, OpenCV, SSD, DLib, MTCNN and Retina Face. Okay, so yeah, this was the short introduction of this uh, deep face package. I'll provide the link in the description if you want to explore this package. Now let's get to our editor so that we can start writing our code. Okay, so now we are into editor. So first of all, let's see a single image. Okay, because I want to show you something. So uh, first of all, let's start with a single image. So what I'll do is I'll uh, comment this part out. So first of all, we have imported OpenCV, CV2. Then we have imported the deep face class from this deep face. Okay. Then we have imported NumPy with the short notation of MP. Okay. Then actually we won't be needing this also. So let's save this. And uh, first of all, we are loading 1.png. Okay. Uh, 1.jpg actually. Uh, 1.jpg is this image. This is my image. And yeah, I'm this fat. <laughs> okay. Let's get back to our code. Then we are reading this uh, image. The data is stored in this image variable. Then we are 
analyzing this image okay so we are analyzing this image using deep face which is uh, this class here dot analyze the first parameter is the image that we want to analyze then we have the action okay so we have these four four actions age gender emotion and race we are using only the emotion and we can also specify that uh, what model we want to use uh, let me show you an example here you can specify this uh, parameter here model name is equal to name of that model okay so let's get back and uh, first of all let me show you the output okay i am not running the main code because i want to show you something first so uh, let's print this analyze variable and see that what is the output so it will take some time okay so as you can see in the emotion dictionary we are having angry as 0.75 percent disgust as 9.24 i don't look disgust but uh, anyway uh disgust is 9.24 fear is 1.6 and happy is 96 percent sad is 0.0223 okay and uh also surprise is 1.4 so these are the emotions that are present in this model okay and this is the percentage of that emotion in that photo i look 96.63 or 03 percent happy and 1.66 percent fear okay and uh, this is the neutral parameter so the main output that we are looking for is this dominant emotion so dominant emotion here is happy as you can see from the image also i look happy and uh, the dominant emotion is also happy with 96.03 percent and this is the x y width and height of my face okay in case you want to draw draw a rectangle or something okay so uh how we can access this dominant emotion by simply specifying this index because it's a dictionary so we want the value of this dominant emotion key so uh, let me comment this out and uh, print this okay so as you can see the dominant emotion here is happy so as you have understood at how this uh, analyze class is working let's get to our main code where we'll take the input from a webcam and uh, then see that what emotion is in front of the webcam okay so let me uncomment all of these okay so we have already imported the packages we have imported cv2 deep face and numpy then we are loading the hard cascade now this is some extra work that i am doing i am drawing a rectangle uh, around the face this is not required but it helps to keep track of uh, the face and uh, i have already explained how to draw this face in multiple of my previous videos i have done multiple videos on face detection i'll not go deep into this part i'll only explain you that how this analyze is working with the webcam okay i won't skip that part the face detection part but i won't go in detail okay so first of all we are loading the har cascade and this har cascade value is stored in this uh, face cascade variable then we are getting the input from the webcam you can use multiple input methods here if you want to know that how many methods are there the link will be provided in the description you can explore from there then while video is open we are checking whether we are getting the input from the webcam or not underscore and frame is equal to video dot read okay so uh, first variable is somewhat useless it's like a flag whether it's open or not the webcam is open or not or whether we are getting the video stream the actual image data is stored in this frame variable so uh, first of all we are converting this uh, colored image uh, colored image into grayscale image so that the detection is perfect so we are using the cvt color class from opencv the, the uh, first parameter is frame which is the input coming from our webcam second is uh, cv2 dot color bgr to gray bgr is blue green red and gray is well gray okay uh, then this uh, gray variable is passed to this face cascade dot detect multi scale that this uh, this face cascade is this uh, variable having all the xml data dot detect multi scale so it will detect all the features from this xml file and on what image it will detect this gray image okay 
the scale factor and min neighbors are two parameters which specifies the intensities of detection okay and this face variable will have four values x y w and h x y is the starting of your face the top left hand side of your face and w and h is the width and height of your face okay then we'll draw a rectangle using the cv2 dot rectangle class the first parameter is frame the image on which we want to draw uh, the frame or the rectangle then we have x and y the starting x and y then we have two sides of the rectangle then this is the color of the box and this is the width of the box okay so this was the part where we will um, where we were creating the rectangle around the face this was the optional part the main part comes here we uh, we are having a try and accept condition here if there is a phase this try condition will be executed if there is no phase this accept condition will be executed okay so same thing is happening here we are using this analyze class from deep face and uh, this time the input is this frame variable and the action is emotion and we are displaying the dominant emotion as we have done here okay and if there is no phase then we'll go to this accept uh, condition and this uh, no no face uh, text will be printed and then this is the part where we display the output to the user once again this thing is not required but just to keep track of the faces i have added the square also okay uh, so we have displayed the output to the user then uh, we are specifying the weight key basically the key we want to press if we want to exit this program so uh, we have specified small q so if the key is equal to q then we'll break this infinite loop and video will be released okay so uh, let, let me do one thing let me run this program and uh, come in front of the webcam and show you okay hi so uh, my face is showing neutral let me smile okay so it showed happy but it's still showing neutral maybe uh, because of the lightings so let me go back a little bit okay so it's still showing neutral so uh, maybe it's because of the lighting and as you can see the uh, facial features are not that visible so maybe this is the reason but do you can see that there were some instances where it was showing happy so yeah this was how to create a python program to detect emotion on a human face i hope you like it and if you like this project then maybe you'll like these two projects also first one is how to create your first android app using python and second is how to create a computer vision game using python okay so you to there bye bye